All right, guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. This is the coon. I've got it sleeved. When I skinned it out, I left it as a sleeve. But for my purposes, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and split it. For one, it's going to make it kind of easier for me to flesh. And for two, I want it spread out. I want it wide so I get as much access to as much fur as possible. Everything's cleaned up. My carcass is disposed of, all my tools, my implements, all clean, hands are clean, everything washed, everything sanitary, I've got a new set of gloves, and I'm going to use my stainless steel Mora, I'd rather have shears, but my shears, again, are at the cabin, but I'm going to split this coon from bottom jaw to vent. And open it completely up and I think my mora should work just fine for that so I've got it laid out here on its back it's gonna start here and work my way down Is it going to be straight probably not is it going to be perfect absolutely not but this is my own purposes anyway i don't really care about all that it's hard to do this kind of stuff with your left-handed person let me tell you what might be easier for me to just flip this carcass or flip this pelt I should say it's not a carcass now because the animal we've gotten rid of just like so maybe the easier way to go My jaw, bottom jaw is right here. Oh yeah, much better. See, it's really hard to cut through that fur, even with a very sharp knife. So by flipping the pelt inside out, I'm cutting the tissue side, and that's really speeding things up. See, I'm learning as I go, the same way some of you are. And there we are, we're split. And so, still now, now, instead of a sleeve, I've got a wide piece of hide that I can work with. Still got my face, still got my eyes, my ears, my whiskers, the nose, most of the tail. A little bit of that did come off, about two inches or so. But now, for me, this just makes fleshing easier, and I'm going to use the animal opened up like this anyway. Now, traditionally, you see a lot of people skin. They save the feet. They get the toes. They get the claws. They get everything. The reason for that is, most of the time, that's for taxidermy purposes, okay? Now, if your pellets are going to be used for taxidermy purposes, you need a complete animal as much as possible. But for me, I don't need to worry about that. All right, now I don't have a fleshing beam. What I do have is a partial roll of some pretty stiff carpet and I'm going to put on this jacket hanging right over here in the corner that I don't really give two shits about. It's a Walmart special camo. If it gets dirty, no big deal. I can machine wash it. I don't have an apron, so I'm just gonna wear my old jacket and then I'm going to see if I can flesh on this animal a little bit because I've got to get some of that off of it before I try to salt it and set the hair. All right, stick around, guys. 
I'll see you all in the next one.